guys, how are you doing? Minasan, konnichiwa. My name is Chisa. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be continuing my movie marathon and I'll be reacting to the second movie, which is gonna be A Silent Voice. And in Japanese, it is Koe no Katachi. And this is a very popular movie. A lot of people have seen it already. I haven't, so that's why I'm reacting to it right now. But if I'm correct, the manga author of this movie is also the one who also wrote To Your Eternity. So that alone is reason enough for me to watch this movie, of course. I'm super excited already. That's also why I think that this movie is gonna be such a tearjerker. But I have no idea what the story is about, so don't worry. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, my To Your Eternity reactions got blocked because of copyright and I'm not gonna do any more reactions to that. I feel like this is gonna be a good replacement. I hope this one doesn't get blocked or anything. Fingers crossed. But nonetheless, this is gonna be a long set. The movie is about two hours long. So sit tight. In any case, I'm super excited to just jump into this movie. Like I just said, I know nothing about the story. I know nothing about the characters or anything like it. I just know the title. And that is from the same maker as To Your Eternity. So that's all I can say for now. So yeah, with that said, let's just hop right into the movie and see what it's about. So let's go! Alright, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start the movie in 3, 2, 1, go! I already hear some sounds in the background. I have a feeling that the animation is also gonna be beautiful. Hmm. Uh oh, what's he gonna do? <gasps> oh my god, is he gonna jump off the bridge? Oh. Some fireworks? Last day. Hmm. All right. Okay. The intro was already very intriguing. And then with this kind of like opening song. But yeah, I feel like we're gonna start a little bit back in time to see what led to him jumping off the bridge or trying to jump off the bridge, you know? Oh my god! <laughs> oh man. 
there are already a lot of like interesting looking characters so I'm ready to get to know them Anyways, we're starting in elementary school. <laughs> so... <laughs> She's cute. Maybe she's dead? Oh, she is dead. Oh, is that what the story is about? Is that why it's called the silent voice? I should have known, to be honest, but... <laughs> okay, the reaction though. These guys. Oh. Yeah. Even following a normal class must be so hard for her. I mean... Oh, a music class especially. Like she has no idea what's going on. Can she do like lip reading? Like,
complicated, you know. I know what the teacher's trying to do. The teacher's trying to include her in a normal class and try to treat her the same way as the others. But then, I don't know, like, he's still kind of strict on the girl who can just hear and talk normally. But then you have her, she's trying her best, but she can't even, like, pronounce the words right. And he just lets that pass, you know. It is complicated. It's definitely gonna cause a friction, you know. But it must be like especially so hard for a deaf person to attend a normal class. I mean, the teacher is gonna do the same thing as always. And he cannot just keep on like giving you extra attention just because you cannot hear. And it's good that she has like classmates who are like willing to help her, you know? People who point out that it's her turn to, to read something. I don't know. So she knows sign language. Oh, damn. That was mean. But that must be like a um, typical elementary school boy behavior, you know? It is. It'll still rude, though. It's cool, you know, to learn sign language. Man, this girl. She's one of those belly types. I mean, she was also trying to be nice in the beginning, you know. What did he write? Even though he was the one who wrote it himself. And then after that, trying to be nice, you know. <sighs> she still said thank you. Oh. 
those hearing aids. Oh no. Oh my god, these kids, they really go too far. Man, elementary school kids can be so mean. <gasps> Damn. Why is she saying sorry? And she still wants to be friends? That's what it meant, right? These boys just act trying to act all tough. <laughs> what happened? How did he get in the water? Teachers finally calling them out. A little bit late though. He's a little bit late. And he's finally putting them on their place. Is that his mom? Oh, 
Yeah, even if he doesn't like it, I like what the mother, I think it's the mother, but what she's trying to do. She's still taking responsibility, you know? Oh. But still, why is she doing the apologizing? He should be with her! Oh, okay. She's calling him. Hmm. What happened to her? Oh. Oh, now he's the one being bullied. Or, yeah. It's called karma, you know, like... She's yeah, she's trying. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, see, it just People write bad things about him on his desk. She just tried to clean it for him. Yeah. And he probably is like, why is she doing this? I treated her so badly, you know? That scene was so heavy, you know? She was really trying to convey her feelings towards Ishida. But he didn't even try to understand what she was trying to say, you know? He just kept calling her a creep. Not even trying to understand anything she tries to convey, you know? Oh. Do we get a little time skip? Yeah. Yeah, he already seemed a bit older.
she got a lot more shy compared to before. kept it all this time and he learned sign language a little bit Maybe she's feeling happy. <sighs> Where is he sleeping? Doesn't he have a bed or anything? Oh my god. Who's that cutie pie? Maria? That looks good. Oh, so we're back to the present. Oh, she knew. Oh yeah, a flashback to that moment, it's like her earring got ripped off. Maria standing like, what's she doing? <gasps> oh, she's still burned there. And he fixed the calendar. Oh man. Oh, so yeah. Oh, 
What did he mean going to see her? Oh man. Even his so called friends just abandoning you like that. Damn, this imagery with all these crosses. Oh. And wishing he couldn't hear. Is he now in... Um, I, I'm guessing he's now in high school. He seems a lot older. Still with the crosses on the faces. Ooh. He also got a lot more timid, you know? Is that what these people are really saying, or that's just how he thinks they're talking about him? Damn! This guy. ね、何してるの。こういっぱいやってるって言ってたし。てか、お前みたいなやつが何してるんだ。They really put crosses on everyone's faces. <laughs> Maria! <laughs> She's so cute. She's a good mom, you know?
Burrow. He's never gonna get his bike back. Of course. Granny casually walking by. She's clearly there. <laughs> <laughs> a rat. Oh. The guy got his bike back. Wow, this guy even looked for it. And the cross is getting off. Oh. He finally got a real friend. <laughs> the rest of the face are still crosses though. Oh, I'm already getting teared up. It it's it's just so fluffy. Oh, they already are best friends. <laughs> this is French fry. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, he's amazing. He's so wise. 
the best best prank you can have honestly <laughs> he's so funny oh. the lady she noticed him <laughs> With the camera, oh my god. Oh my god, look at that romantic setting. That's definitely not what they're saying. She still wants to use it? Not again! Again in the water. Oh, she's still searching for it.
that's what you said? Oh. And again, people are gossiping about him. this guy again <laughs> and Maria is just sitting there oh my god she's such a cutie pie He's already been through that before, you know. Invited him as well. <laughs> She's so cute. With that little hat and a little cute sweater. Oh my gosh. Is that even true?
そちらって気持ちよがってたの面白がってたんだけどさ何も聞こえないけど人面白がってたでしょみんなね今さらそうよ言えばまさかまさまともな人間にでもなったつもり気持ち悪いんだよ Sister, <laughs> I yeah, I, I wasn't sure if that was like a boy or a girl, you know. She seemed a bit girly, but then, oh, no, it was out of nowhere. <laughs> Man. Yeah, she's just looking out for her sister, you know. And the mother just now as well. She was all drenched, which shows that the mother has been looking for her the entire time, you know, in the rain. That she was probably just very worried. <laughs> oh my god, Nagatsuka is honestly best boy. I know I've already said that many times. <laughs> How does he have so much money? <laughs> and a love hotel, what does he think is gonna happen? <laughs> Aww, 
So they're both gonna visit that Sahara girl. So they're texting each other on the train. That's sweet. That way you can talk easier, you know? It's good. Oh. Wasn't that her? That is her. Oh, she still knows a little bit. It means the same, right? I think. It's her, right? Maybe like working in a maid cafe or something. Meow meow club. Definitely sounds like a maid cafe or something. Oh. They went to karaoke together. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They weren't on very good terms either. <laughs> what a disguise. <laughs> oh, it's a cat cafe. It wasn't even a maid cafe. It was a cat cafe. <laughs> oh man, I should have known. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> oh. Really? With that disguise, that so called disguise, she just put on glasses. Maybe her hearing got worse?
She hasn't changed much, but... Why? Is she just testing him out? Or something? nothing lame about that just saying she's just being lame herself Maybe it was like partly true, you know, what um, Ueno said about him hanging out with her, maybe out of guilt. That could be true. cute but it must be like a big change for her you know because that way you can actually clearly see her hearing aid and usually she covers that with her hair you know she looks cute though Yeah. 
Gen D. You said oh, she just confessed to you, you idiot. Thank you. <laughs> He's suspicious. He's trying to get in the circle. Must be happy. <laughs> oh, why is she there? Why did she tag along? And now Ueno has a cross on her face. Hmm. This is gonna be messy. It looks so real.
But it's ah, uh, I love the thrill. I love roller coasters. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Nagato was like, he's trying to take the best friend position. <laughs> I say normal, that's something special, you know. Hmm. I don't know about Ueno though, like she's still being herself. Oh, oh my god. That's him. The backstabbing friend. Crosses got back on, you know. Oh, so she set him up to meet the guy again. really bound to happen. You cannot just blame Nishimiya for that. Two of them. <sighs> Top secret footage. She got the camera on. Oh. It's also her first time seeing it.
it's still wrong though. That's normal. Okay. No. Yeah, and I hate this Uno girl too. If that's what he got from the video, that's that's fine, but no. I, I totally disagree with Ueno, you know? She was sort of playing like the victim, even though she had like the good life, you know? She was popular, she was the one actually bullying or talking bad about Nishimiya. And then she's trying to justify that by saying that Jinshifi that Nishimiya just didn't try to understand her either. Oh yeah, the shout is throughout class. I don't like that blonde girl either, you know, again, she's also trying to play like the victim, trying to act as if all she did was right and good, you know. <sighs> nah. Oh, of course, yeah. I'm sorry, but it's actually your fault. Oh my
yeah this 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 isn't going anywhere you know talking about yeah you did this no i did this i i didn't do that you know it is meaningless to talk about that So much drama. Oh, this guy! Oh my god! Yeah, he knows nothing about it. But yeah, he really put on like a wall around himself, you know, pushing away everyone who was close to him. Of course she is, she's the little sister. Granny with the amazing sweater. <laughs> so sweet. What? Oh, that was a nightmare. <laughs> it's good, like you. Wow, great pickup line. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe you should give her some space. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, so she went back to school. Oh, she didn't go to school. Wait, who's funeral? Was it the granny? Oh, it was the granny! Oh. Even though the granny was so sweet. Oh my god, this place looks amazing, so peaceful, surrounded by nature, and what's this? This looks very interesting too. Is it like a museum or something? Does this place exist for real? What did she say? Oh no! You can, don't give up. Oh, 
For their mother, <laughs> and we know their mother hates him. Is it right? Awkward. Fireworks. Oh, and everyone is watching it by themselves. Okay, not like literally by themselves, some with their family, but like not as the whole friend group together, just like they went to the amusement park, you know? It's okay. You see, she's happy. It's funny, like she she sees the fireworks, but there's like no sound of it, you know, or maybe just a little bit. And of course, she can sort of feel the vibrations, I guess. Study. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. I have a bad feeling about this. She just said thank you and didn't say anything else. Oh, 
No, 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 save her! Damn, why do you have to trip? Makes it. Oh my god, he's fine!
ねえto say it's just so oh our best friend man who does she think she is man Exactly. Even though it's not her fault. That's definitely true. Yes, exactly. Just leave her. She's been annoying since the beginning, you know?
I'm so that's what he said back then. Or was that a dream? He woke up. Damn. Oh no. He shouldn't go out yet? Is something bad gonna happen s still in the end? I thought we already had the words, you know. I hope. Oh man, I'm scared. Things are fine. Things are fine. Nothing bad happened. Oh my gosh.
<laughs> no, it was sweet. Just starting off as friends, yeah. Is that promise? Pinky promise? I think I understand a bit of sign language now, just a tiny, tiny bit. Maria! Still as cute as ever, <laughs> with the turnip head. <laughs> oh my god, she even has those like sandals that make squeaky noises. Oh, she's so adorable. His old friends. No more crosses. Just leave away the crosses, you know? Oh. Oh, the two moms. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> oh, all right, okay. Okay, of course, that's Maria's dad. she won a photo contest and she got a very bad grade <laughs> oh man now I'm craving some jelly too Oh, really? Oh, it's, you're supposed to put it in a flower bed. Maria. can do this Oh 
初めて見受けたんだこれ学校で置いてるんだなんかこの顔見れなくて、yeah. から That's why they're crosses. It's hard, but that's I kind of like the first step of communication, you know, looking people in the faces, Oof. <laughs> instantly crosses everywhere. You gotta take it slow, you know. He's still best boy ever. Oh my god, why every single time? Yeah, it's not like all the crosses are gonna disappear right away, right? You gotta take it slow.
Oh my god. Oh my god. at the end oh is that how it ended oh my gosh this movie it was so good it was seriously so good I mean I've heard that this movie is like a movie that's making you cry right like I I've heard it from many people but it's not because something sad happens you know it's a very wholesome movie it's really really wholesome but it just you can feel every emotion in this movie like from the beginning till the end you just I don't know I just felt every single thing that was going on inside Ishida's mind How he has been struggling. Um, you no, know, no. How he's been struggling to deal with his past, to reconnect with the people he hurt in the past, and then to find new connections with new people around him. This movie was truly like an emotional roller coaster, you know? And it was just relatable in many aspects because basically this movie just deals with very like very basic but real topics, you know, about life. Oh man. Oh, I have so much to talk about. But yeah. The ending also was so powerful. That moment he just... Um, I don't know. It wasn't like as if he... Stopped blocking the sounds around him got rid of all the crosses on people's faces trying to face the people around him you know getting out of that bubble so to say
right, so this was a Silent Voice and this was the second movie of my movie marathon and yeah it was a uh, it was a long but very emotionally heavy movie you know there are just a lot of themes and topics they covered but I think the main main themes were like asking for forgiveness giving forgiveness how to deal with things from the past and how to move on from that you know it, and in general of course the main theme was just facing people try to co how to communicate with people how to convey your own feelings and thoughts and trying to understand the feelings and thoughts of others that just like the basic rules of communication but they just covered a lot of aspects of it in such detail in this movie it was very fascinating it's just crazy you know to think that things that happen in elementary school when you're still like little kids that that can have such a huge impact on how you become as you grow older like we've seen Ishida, who used to bully Nishimiya in, during elementary school, and he was still a little kid. He didn't think much of it. But then he got bullied instead after that incident, you know? He got called out, and he starts, like, blaming everyone around him, and that, of course, makes him, like, everyone's enemy. He started being bullied, and that had such a huge impact on him from that moment onwards, you know? He became an outsider, he couldn't like connect with other people anymore. So that's why he shut himself out from the entire world and stopped facing the people around him. He was just scared of hearing their true thoughts, you know? We also saw that in that one scene, he was sitting in the classroom and he just like, imagined what other people were saying about him even though he couldn't actually hear them you know it was just what he thought they were saying about him and he didn't like ha he didn't have the courage to actually hear what they were th actually saying you know he just thought the most negative but still like he wanted to deal with his past in some sort of way so that's why he also reached out to Nishimiya in the end he also learned sign language a little bit so he could communicate with her but he still didn't really know how to approach her you know is it okay for a bully to meet up again with the person he used to bully you know it is like you also have to take into consideration the, the person's feelings you know the one you were actually bullying in the past and that's also like kind of the main question you know because of course what bullies do is bad it's it's wrong you cannot really just you you cannot you cannot justify that but does that also mean that they can never that they are never allowed to find happiness anymore in my opinion of course they are allowed to find happiness you know but only if they have like truly repented for their past mistakes and in this case you could just feel how he should have genuinely feel bad about the past he genuinely wanted to apologize he wanted to fix what he did in the past he tried to become this new person but it's still hard you know how do you how do you get over like such things that happened in the past because it also it comes from both sides right both from the side of the bully and both from the side of the victim both have to move on from that and sometimes especially in case of severe bullying it can have a lasting impact on the victim for a lifetime you know in severe cases you cannot um, you cannot just write it off as you know it just happened in the past it doesn't matter anymore she's happy now you cannot say that like it can have a lasting impact on your mind right but 
in this case, the victim was Nishimiya. And she seemed to have forgiven Ishida for it, right? Like, it is, it, they didn't like necessarily mention it specifically. But the way she was acting around Nishimiya, and you know, she even confessed to him, and she enjoyed spending time with him. So, from that, you can just see that she's okay with what, what happened in the past, she's over it. But she still felt like she was getting in the way of other people's happiness. You know, that's what comes with people that have like hearing impairment, right? Like, they can ha they can do a lot of things for themselves but for them it just takes more effort and in this case she just felt like it was her fault that everything that Ishida built up in this short amount of time that she ruined all of that she that that's how she felt so that's also why she tried to kill herself thankfully that didn't happen oh my goodness it is crazy, you know. It is it 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 is what happens though in real life in some case of bullying like victims they just don't wanna live anymore so they take away their lives. But yeah. We we saw that first with Ishida himself, right? Like he felt like he didn't deserve to live anymore. So he tried to jump off the bridge and thankfully his mother scolded him severely for that. One of the best moms ever, by the way. She really was like his mental support, you know, together with Maria, of course. Um, but that was like in the beginning, before he really tried to reach out to Nishimiya and met his best friend, you know. But I think it's mainly thanks to his mom that he didn't completely kill himself, you know. Like I said, it's all about forgiving and forgiveness, how to get over your past. And, you know, Ishida really did his best to deal with what he did in the past. He really regretted it but then you also have people like oh no oh, I still don't like her who also played like the victim even though she was also one of the the bullies you know she also talked bad about the girl and then she's saying like it is it was her f that it was Nishimiya's fault that she had to act that way this this is not true like you cannot just justify your bullying there's no proper excuse for that you know but then she still wanted to keep like hanging out with her. I don't know. I, I I just couldn't really understand her. But I guess that shows that like everyone tried to deal with the past in their own sp specific way. You know, it, it is not like there's one right way to deal with what happened in the past and moving on and growing up. There's no right path to that. Everyone has to deal with it differently. So that's why we also had these all kinds of different characters, you know, not just Ueno, but also Kawaii and um, Sahara, right? Like, you have all kinds of different peoples who face the paths in a different way, who moved on and grew up in a different way, and still managed to reconnect in the end, you know? So I guess that's what it's all about. How do you face people in the moment, you know? That's what decides the change, basically. That's why I felt so much emotion in the final scene during the school festival where Ishida really tried to muster up the courage to face everyone again to get himself out of the shell you know he accepted all the sounds uh, and everything around him again that that's how it should be that's how it should be you shouldn't be like living in your own world even though that's like the most comfortable even though that is the easiest that's not like truly living you know in in my opinion i i can say that also kind of out of my own experience i also intend to really um hide myself in my shell sometimes just really feel like disconnecting from people i can be super late with replying to texts um i can feel like not meeting up with anyone for a week or so you know I also have those moments but then I also realize that I'm like most happy when I'm also surrounded with my friends and enjoy like fun things with other people together you know it is different 
I don't think it's bad to spend time by yourself. That's also okay. Like especially for introverts like me, they also need their alone time. But it it is a balance, you know. It is balance. It is also at least it's important to be able to face people to understand what they're trying to say to you because that also makes you help understand their feelings and emotions better and that way like misunderstandings and stuff they can be avoided more easily so it makes the world just a more happy place that's it so those were kind of like my main thoughts on this movie i'm sure i missed a lot of points i wanted to say but like i i just couldn't talk during the movie as you guys might have noticed i was silent a lot of times but i knew that if i was gonna talk I would just burst crying and not get a word out anyway so I'm sorry for that it, it just that's how good this movie was that's how emotional it was I enjoyed every second of it it just it was slow it was wholesome it was dramatic at times but in general like I said I just I just felt every emotion in in every scene you know I think that's what made this movie so good you know like you could just really really connect with the characters and i think i'm sure everyone has their own way of interpreting certain scenes certain emotions they have a they have their own way of connecting to it so i'm also really curious about you guys what are like specific moments that you could really relate to you know uh just let me know in the comments i'm very curious but yeah, that was my reaction to A Silent Voice, Koen no Katachi. It was a wonderful movie. Thank you guys for recommending this movie to me. And yeah, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. And if you cannot wait to see my reaction to the next movie reaction, you can already find it on my Patreon. So if you're interested, please go check it out. You can find the link in the description box below. So in any case, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.